everyone, I am Anna from Craft Me A Card and I love crafting for the crafter and that is you. So today on this Wacky Wednesday, I wanna share with you guys super quick the secret behind pressing large roses. Now this is a bouquet that a friend from church gave me and uh, it was going bad, it started to stink, so she wanted to get rid of it, and she thought of me. So thank you so very much, Stephanie, <laughs> for thinking of me. And I am going to take advantage, since I have this large array of roses to press, and uh, I'm going to show you how it is that I press them. Okay, so first you take your presser, and yes, this is all stained from all the previous flowers I have pressed. And again, one of these pressers, just go on Amazon or on the internet and look for flower press kit. And there's a large variety of different pressing kits you could purchase. There's a lot of different layers you could pick from. I know that there's some from four layers to six layers. Some are different uh, sizes. This is a six by six. My husband gave me a larger one, uh, but there are many you can choose from. Um, but this is the one that I started with. So first what you want to do is lay the sponge that it comes with. And this is a rose that, as you could see, is it's very sad. And you could feel it. It's not hard. Um, it's very flimsy. So th this is the ideal one to work with. So what I like to do um, is open it up, just like that. I grab it by the stem here, and then I open it up. And then I just spread these petals to where I feel that I am creating a full rose to press. And then sometimes these roses, when they're older, they just fall apart. So not all of them work this way, but you will definitely come across some. And some roses are not old enough, are not dry enough to where you can do this. So see here I see I have a full circle so I'm just going to go ahead and take out the inside of the rose. I know I have a whole a whole button left but yeah this you can either press it petal by petal or throw it out. So then I just go ahead and I open it up open it up carefully and then with both hands, just go ahead and I place it on my sponge. And of course, why not fix it? Make it pretty. It's like fluffing a bride's dress when, when she's up in the altar. You just make it pretty, just make it look nice. And with some scissors, I cut the stem as low as I can go. Now. Keep in mind that sometimes when you cut the stem off of a flower, the stem is actually holding the petals. So sometimes I have found it that I cut the stem and it just all falls apart. So get to know your flowers and see where that stem ends. And I'm going to cut off these little things. We don't need them. That's extra moisture that I would be adding to the flower. So less moisture I need to dry the better. So just go ahead and make sure it's nice. So there you go. That is how I'm going to press my rose. And then you place your little tissue paper on there. I don't know what they call it. And then you place this plate, which I think this is the one that helps in extracting the moisture from a flower. And then you place your top plate. Press it. Bring in your Velcro straps and tighten it. These pressing kits come with two Velcro straps. I also saw other different kinds of pressing kits. Um, these are the only ones that I have tried. Then you go ahead and you place this in a plastic bag that also comes with the kit, and that's just to help keep the moisture out. And just on a side note, you can reuse these plates. I go ahead and I put four of these smaller ones in the microwave for two minutes and they dry perfectly. Uh, for the bigger plates, I put two minutes and 40 seconds and they dry perfect. Um, now, you do have to be careful because they can burn. When I put two minutes and 40 seconds of these smaller ones, <laughs> one of them burnt. Um, so you just have to be aware and just keep an eye on your microwave when you have these in um, when they're drying. But they are reusable. 
As always, I hope you get inspired, I hope you create, and be happy. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so, hit the notification bell, like, and comment. I know it's a lot to ask, but all of these really help me bring you more content. Thank you so much, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.